here is the national news from BGI TV, Babagba Gede Limo Television, I'm Jibril Munirat. First are the major highlights for the national news. Breaking, KFCC moves Okorocha to court. Why we have operatives at PDP convention, EFCC reveals. While Yorubas won't forgive you, Oluwo of Iwo wants Tenubu or Shibajo and Akonde. Lagos Telecom's accountant commits suicide. Friend blames depression. Finally, we are helpless. Save, save our children. Let us cry out in open state. Now the news in details. Hamid every security by its operatives. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has brought the former Himo State Governor, Richard Zukorocha, before a federal high court in Abuja for arraignment over 2.9 billion corruption charges. Okorocha was driven to the court premises at about 8.45 a.m. and was immediately led to the courtroom. Dressed in his usual green colored abada with a brown cap to match, the whole Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, who is wearing a pensive mood, was made to sit near a dock where his plea on the fraud charges against him would be taken this morning. The Anti Corruption Agency, EFCC, has explained the reasons its operatives are present at the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Premium Times have reported the presence of the EFCC officials at the PDP convention, currently holding at the Moshub Abiola National Stadium in Abuja. Wilson Ukujare, the spokesperson of the EFCC, confirmed the situation to Premium Times when contacted for comments. He said, yes, we have officers present at the convention. We are there to observe the activities of the PDP presidential primaries. Asked about the numbers of officials deployed to the convention venue, he said, I do not have such a number with me. The FCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa, had vowed to monitor campaign finances, including the legitimacy of funds used to purchase political parties' nomination funds ahead of the 2023 general elections. The Oluwo of Iwo of Abdul Rashid Adewale Akondi has disclosed why Yoruba political leaders would not be forgiven. Oluwo said Yoruba politicians like the All Progressive Congress, APC, presidential aspirant Bola Hamed Tinubu, Vice President Yemi Oshibaju, APC, APC chieftain BC Akonde, and Southwest governors would not be forgiven should they fail to brighten the political fortune of Yoruba land ahead of the 2023 general elections. He spoke while lamenting the division among Yoruba political leaders in the APC and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The monarch stressed that the sharp division among Yoruba political leaders is a clear demonstration of disunity. In a statement by his press secretary, Ali Ibrahim, the monarch noted that the political future of the Yoruba race was in danger. According to Oluwo, if Yoruba failed the 2023 poll, it will have a perennial touch on the future political fate of our race. The Lagos accountant, Folake Abiola, has committed suicide at a residence at Osaka, London, in the Lekki area of Lagos State. Pont Metro gathered that the 45-year-old was at her house on Friday when she drank what was suspected to be insecticide. She was said to have died shortly after as a family member's friends and men of the Nigerian police force met her lying motionless. A colleague of the deceased, who spoke to her correspondence on condition of anonymity, 
said that Viola had been suffering from depression for years, having that the news of her death was shocking. Contrary to claims online that Fabiola committed suicide due to loneliness, lack of a husband, among others, the colleagues said that her associate knew that she had been in a romantic relationship, adding that she handed them due to depression. Finally, lepers at Ibere Podo Colony in Abe Okuta, Ogun State, have begged Nigerians to help them in raising their children, saying they have succumbed to fate. The lepers said they want their children to grow and receive the necessary education like everyone else in the society, but their health condition had, had put them in a precarious situation. Speaking, the secretary of the colony, Fonon Michel Lukman, advocated for the support of the masses and the civil society groups to better the lives of their children, pleading, please, in God's name, help her children. Lukman said that her present situation has frustrated some of her children out of school, adding that those who learn trades do not have the financial strength to set up their shops or buy the needed tools. He said, please, we didn't bargain for this, but it, it happened. We have accepted our fate. We haven't failed until we cannot train our own children, he said. Also, the chairman of the colony, Jimo Hamed, begged for soft loans to help the inmates who can still run petty businesses. Hamed expressed fear over porosity of the colony, begging for solar-powered streetlights to illuminate the colony and scare away people who may want to infiltrate the vicinity as the colony is now surrounded by residential buildings. That was the news, but before we go, here's a quick recap of our major highlights once again. Here's CC News Okoro Chat Court. Why we have operatives at PDP convention, EFCC review. Why Yorubas won't forgive you, Oluwo, Oviwo, Mons Tinubu, Oshibaju, and Akombi. Lagos Telecom's accountant commits suicide, friend blames depression. Finally, we are helpless, save our children, let us cry out in Ogun State. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. On YouTube, Babagba Gede Imo TV. Kindly click on the red subscribe button, like, comment, and share. For hardback placement, please call the number showing on your screen. Good afternoon once again. I'm Jibril Munirat.